Hey YouTube, this is the Trendy Socialite. Um, just wanted to come and check in with you all. See how everyone is doing. Hope you're doing well. It is Tuesday. Um, and I wanted to like just share something with you. I've sort of been prompted by uh, Nikki May's video about her PhD um, proposal that she did today which congratulations I heard it went well I saw her video so I'm really really proud of her but um, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about um, especially if you're the parent of a young girl or you mentor a girl or you have nieces and nephews that are getting ready to go um, or getting ready to go into high school, getting ready to go into college, or even younger than that, just in terms of um, kind of career preparation and what they may be thinking about in terms of a career. Um, at my church, I am the co-director of the youth ministry and I teach Sunday school and stuff like that. So I do have, and I teach the high school Sunday school class. So I have a relationship with the um, teens in my church. And one of the things that I'm always asking them about and talking to them about um, is what they plan to do once they graduate from high school. I, like President Obama, am a, am, am a firm believer in at least one year of additional education once you graduate um, from college. I push the the kids that I have a relationship with, that I have a, um, a certain amount of influence with, to consider at least a two-year degree, if not a four-year degree. I understand from my own personal journey that maybe a four-year degree right away is not something that people um, are ready for. I think if I would have thought about it and um, really would have considered some things, I would not have gone away to college right away. Not saying that I wouldn't have gone to college, you know, as soon as I graduated from high school, but I just had so much other life stuff happening at that point that I probably should have at least set out that first semester um, and maybe should have considered going to school home locally, which I did have the benefit of a local institution. So. Really, what I wanted to talk about, um, because I've had I have two um, teens in my church that are interested in careers in the medical field, and I have I love doctors and nurses. More power to you. You do stuff that I couldn't do, but I ask them why they wanted to be nurses or doctors. <clears throat> um, well, I think both of them want to be nurses, and one of them specifically said that um, their parent told them that they would make good money at it and that's the field that they should go into because they would make a lot of money and nurses do get paid very well um, and there's a clearly a high demand for qualified competent nurses in just about any city across the United States um, so my next question is always this are you good at science like, is that your thing? Because I think nurses, you know, shows like ER and Grey's Anatomy and other shows like that have made the medical field look glamorous and look um, interesting and look not so complicated and not so hard and difficult. But it is. I work at, um, I work at a university. Um, not in academia or anything like that. I work in, on the student affairs side, but um, I do I interact with a lot of different faculty and staff and students and things like that. And one of the things that I realize is that for our nursing program, even though like it states that the GPA is a 2.5, the actual average GPA of the students in our nursing program is a 3.5. I mean, a whole entire point higher than what is actually considered the minimum in order to qualify for um, for our, our um, nursing program. So it's competitive, and the amount of science that you have to know, like you, I mean, you're dealing with the human body. You have to know everything about the human body, every artery, every vessel, every bone, every muscle, you know, and. Let's not even talk about the brain, okay? 
So that's always my next question to anyone that says they're interested in medicine. And I have two girls actually um, at my church that are interested in that. And so I'm like, I you can do anything you set your mind to. But what you really need to understand is how much... Um, science and how much technical knowledge that that you need in order to even pass um, a basic nursing class even you know CNAs and and some of those people you have to have a good science background like that has to be something that you're really interested in and relatively good at in order to succeed in the medical field and so what I really want to share with you all is Parents, mentors, teachers, family, friends, everyone. Let's be honest and realistic with our kids. Yes, they can definitely do anything that they set their mind to. But we need to equip them with all of the information so that they can make an informed decision with our guidance and help. And if you know that your child struggles in science, if you know that they can't tell their rooter from their tutor, so to speak, then you may want to, there There are other avenues that they can be in the medical field without having a medical or a scientific background. Um, there are social workers in medicine. There are um, people that raise money for, you know, their development officers. There are, I mean, secretaries. There, I mean, there are all kinds of people in the medical field that doesn't, that don't necessarily have a medical scientific background. So, I mean, I mean, the, the hospital administrators, if they're good at business, hospitals and, and medical fields always need good business people um, in their area. And you can specialize. You can learn about the medical field without actually having to have a medical background. Um, so I've just been really recently having that conversation a lot with the kids in my church just in terms of making sure that you know exactly what you're getting into when you consider these fields. Um, a, another friend at my church is a nurse and I remember when she was studying to be a nurse and she went to a community college and I just remember um, her, I mean, she always had books like yay thick of you know medicines and pills and that's the other thing you have to learn you have to know about all kinds of medicines um, because if you've ever been in the hospital if you ever had a family member in the hospital contrary to popular belief nurses do a lot of work I'll come just shy of saying they do more work than the doctors but they definitely know a lot they have to know a lot they have to know how drugs interact with each other and with you know people with different kinds of diseases, how much to administer, how to administer. I mean, they have to know so much stuff. And it's more than having just a good bedside manner and being able to relate to patients. And that that's a huge part of it. But if you don't have that scientific background, you're just not going to even make it through school, let alone to actually become a nurse, a practicing nurse. So I want to encourage our students to develop a love of science. And, and Nikki May's presentation really help me um, to see that that is important and that we need to foster that very very early in our in our young um, girls especially I would love to see you know, a lot of young black women women of color women period in the science field I think that is so cool um, so we need to foster that early is what I'm saying you need to send your your daughters to science camp not just dance camp and acting camp and just fun summer camps you need to send them to um, science and math camps and you know you see commercials from time to time with um, a focus on children excelling and, and doing uh, things in science and we really need to foster that especially in our community because we have so many ills and ills that we need to take care of diabetes, AIDS, um, high blood pressure, all of those things and if we don't have, if we're not really represented in the scientific field uh, we're just not going to have that voice that is constantly out there saying that this is what needs to be done. So I hope that you will consider what I'm saying. Please pass this along to others. Share it with your friends. Talk about it um, at your church and other things. We, we really need to get our kids involved in science. We need to start career exploration early. We need to equip our kids with all of the information that they need um, to be able to make a good career choice. Please rate and subscribe. I love hearing from you all. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Take care. Bye.